In this video, we're going to learn how to create a 3D model from an image you've either downloaded from the internet or created in, in Photoshop or Illustrator. So for this example, I'm going to use an image of an alien that I found on the internet. I typed in alien outline PNG. The reason I used a PNG is because I want the transparent background. I don't want a checkerboard or, or colored background as part of the image. Um, if you open this image um, and, or just try and download it from Google, you'll see you get a JPEG file, which means you'll have this checkerboard background, which we don't want. So instead, go to the website itself, download the PNG file to your computer, which I did earlier. So if I go to my downloads folder, there it is, alien.png. So if I just uh, copy that, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'm going to paste it into a folder I called alien. So paste that. There it is. So now I'm going to right click that image and I'm going to go open with Illustrator. Um, there it is in Illustrator. So then Command minus to zoom out. Um, you'll see five options in the side, unembed, mask, crop image, image trace and arrange. If they're not there because you've clicked on another part of the screen, just click the selection tool, click on the alien again and they reappear. With the alien selected, click image trace from the list hit black and white logo, then click expand, and now use the white direct selection tool from the top left hand of the screen to select different parts of the image, so I need to delete the square around the image, so click on the path, which is the blue line around the image, delete that one, and I'll select the top one, and the rest of the box is gone, so all I'm left with here is the alien. Um, if you wanted to draw this yourself, you could have, so I'm going to add some extra detail to this. So I'll use the ellipse tool so on the far left hand side, use the ellipse tool. And I'm going to change the fill color to black and now I'm going to draw just some eyes on the alien. There we go. Okay, and now my image is ready um, to turn into a 3D model. So hit file, save as. Give it a file name, change the format to SVG, so alien.svg. Save it in your folder or wherever you need to on your computer. So I'll save it in the alien folder. Hit save, SVG options, just click OK. And if you go to the folder, there it is, alien.svg. Now go to Tinkercad, which is 3D modeling software online, which is free. You can find it by going to Google and typing in Tinkercad. Um, the Software gives names to the files. This one's called Daring Crift. I don't want that. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to call my file Alien because that makes more sense. And then click Import, choose a file, select alien.svg from your folder and click Open. Ignore the options, just click Import. There we go, the image is loaded in. I can zoom out with my mouse wheel by uh, scrolling backwards or forwards depending on how yours is set up and now I can just click on the alien once to select it and use the uh, the sliders these little blocks at this sides of the image to uh, resize it and you can see that Tinkercad's already automatically given it some um, thickness in the the y-axis so it's not just a 2d image anymore it's 3d um, so there we go there's my uh, alien image here so if I just click on this cube in the top left hand corner of the screen, look at it from a top down perspective um, and zoom in. You can see that the alien has curved feet at the bottom and I want perfectly flat feet. Now I could have just edited this in Illustrator but I can do it here so I'll do it in Tinkercad. So I'm going to just click off the alien and then select, uh, then select the box and it's the grayed out one, it's the first option in the list of um, shapes that you can draw in Tinkercad. So click that then just click anywhere on the canvas and use the sliders to just draw the box so it intersects with the alien's feet. So they're going to have flat feet. So you can see the little rounded part is in the box. So now if I just click off that, you can see I have the alien itself, the box around its feet. Now this box is an empty shape. It's just a hollow space. Um, so I'm going to click on the alien once to select it, hold shift, click the box, and then in the top right hand part of the screen you can see group. Control G or Command G if you're on a Mac is the keyboard shortcut. We'll just hit the group button 
and you can see the box disappears because they're all one thing now and it's kind of chopped the feet off so now they're perfectly flat so I could print this out um, and then glue it to a, you know a little a base and it would be able to stand upright without looking strange so the next step now I've got my um, 3d model ready with its flat feet is click export leave it on the download tab and click STL and it will download to your computer so there we go alien STL so if I go to my downloads folder so click on the little arrow show in finder I've got one from before so this one is alien1.stl so if I just copy that go to my desktop pop it into my alien folder so now I've got my SVG my PNG and this one .stl you right click it open with open with flash print let the software load if you get a marketing ad like this just close it down and there we go we've got my alien 3d model ready to print now it's too big at the moment so I'm going to click on scale and then I'm just going to click on the model itself and um, drag down on my mouse to resize it and when I'm happy with the size and everything else just hit start slicing ignore the options just hit slice local save save to local and call it alien I'm going to delete that one because I don't need that dot uh, GX so it's already a GX file hit save go to your alien folder or wherever you happen to have saved the file there it is alien.gx that's the file you put on your USB drive or your SD card for use with the 3d printer um, so try that yourself that's how you turn a 2d image into a 3d model